Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. Listen, since so many of you had asked, I decided I will do another seven days of SVGs with you just to keep us going. Something fun to do at 1 p.m. every day, Eastern Time. So today I'm going to do something with Mickey Mouse, but it's also Mickey Mouse having something to do with Easter. Yesterday was Palm Sunday, next Sunday's Easter, so I thought I would do Mickey with an Easter egg thing is I'd like you to look up at my screen here and you can notice that this is from DisneyClips.com so we have to be careful because this is not something at all that you can make and sell I'm simply using this for my tutorial to show you how you can make it and I'm assuming that you can use it for your private use only your own individual intermediate in immediate family but that's for you to figure out the legalities of it all I'm just doing this for a tutorial to show you how you can use these kind of things. So let's look up at my screen and get started. Okay, here it is. I've already brought it in from Google. I right clicked on it and said copy and then came into the software and said right click and paste. And then notice I'm going to just go ahead and do like we always do and start tracing. So I come over here to the piece of toast. Looks like toast to me. Uh, some people think it looks like a butterfly. It's over here on the right hand side. If you hover over it, it says trace panel. So I'm going to click on that. And if you've heard me say this a million times before, every time I make videos, there are new people. And so I repeat it, but also it helps us to remember things the more often you hear something repeated or you learn something. So let's go to select by trace area, which is right here. Click on that. And then I'm just going to simply draw a box around the thing that I want traced. And there he is, just like that. Whoops, I missed a little bit of his foot down here. Not to worry, though. I can just find this box down here in the center and drag it down like that. And now I have the whole thing. And I think the trace looks pretty good. I'm going to use the little bug magnifying glass to scroll in just a little bit and look at these lines. They look great. I don't see any openings in them. So I think they look really good. So I'll scroll back out. And I will just say trace right over here. So that's going to allow me to get rid of this box that I no longer need. So I'm going to click and delete it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this to grab it all, to select it all. And then I come up here to the upper left hand corner where these cross hatches are. And the cross hatches mean that it's transparent. And you can tell my image is transparent now because you can see the grid lines through it or the gray through it. Well, I'm going to change it so that the line color is not transparent. And I'm going to choose a color that I don't use in Mickey. I'm not going to be using a purple, so I'll make it a light purple. There we go. And now the next thing I'm going to do, like we always do, the second step is to come up here to Object, Release the Compound Path. When I release the compound path, that's going to put little selection boxes around all the little components or parts or bits that <coughs> <coughs> sorry that make up Mickey. So I'll do it. There we go, just like that. So as I said, we need to remember that this is an image from Disney.com, Disney Clips. But we can get rid of this now because we don't need this in our image. <coughs> so I just highlighted it and selected delete on my keyboard. And that got rid of everything that I needed. Now I am going to teach you something new today that someone had requested. And that is to get rid of this little piece in here between the egg and his leg. You see that little piece? I'm going to show you that in a little bit. So the first thing that I think I will do is just start coloring him a little bit. I'm going to let see. I'm gonna, I want the selection tool up here, the arrow. I'm going to select his hand, hold down the shift key, and get his other finger, all his fingers. And what else will be white? The whites of his eyes. I think that. Oh, oh, that one's going to be a different thing. I think. Check it out. Let's check. Change this to white. Oh, it worked perfectly. Not a problem. So there we have white. Let's see. I think I'll make his outfit that he's wearing like a light bluish color. That's pretty. And maybe make the outer part of his ears that same color. 
I come up here to this color swatch and the last color that I used would be the one on the left so I'll click that and he's looking pretty good I guess I could make his mouth come up here and just make it a red color my thing is I'm not exactly sure what color his skin should be so what I think I'll do is I'll open back up to Google and right now I was in the line drawings I'm just gonna go to clip art find a colored Mickey here's one I can right click on and copy image come back to my software and right click and paste and the only reason why I want this one is so that I know what color to make his skin so let's see so I'm gonna go ahead and grab on his little face come up here to the color area and I'm gonna get the eyedropper remember the eyedropper so I can click on that and then suck up this color and look that it made the color of his face perfect exactly the color I wanted it to be so now just so I can see how this is all turning out now I can go back to clicking on the outermost part let's see if I can get it I want a big box around the outside edge around everything whoops okay there we go I finally got it did you see that I had to keep trying a little bit until I got the outermost box you see how it's enclosing everything that's what I wanted so now I'm going to change that to black come up here to the color swatch area and just go ahead and change that to black so we can see and look how good he's looking looks great now we've learned some things in the past that we're going to work on and that is his nose we want that to be black but we don't want to have to cut out a piece of black vinyl or a piece of black cardstock to make that we've got this whole black background right here that we're going to build on top of so if we get rid of this nose right here it'll show the black backing so I'm going to hit undo or control Z on my keyboard to undo and now I can click on his nose hold down my shift key click on his face and now we need to go to the other panel that we've been using so far and that's the modify panel remember that one with the rectangle and the circle I'm going to come over here and find that panel and say subtract so I wanted to remind you remember you can do all of this with the free version of the software which I have linked down below so you can practice and see if you like it you can use that free version for your cameo machine if you're using a Cricut machine after you've practiced this a lot and decided you know Patty Ann I really do like that software I think I'd like to own it it's a one-time fee I think it's $48 right now if you use my uh, code down below and it's yours to own forever and ever no payments no monthly fee nothing like that and you can use it for your Cricut and I'll show you how anyway let's continue on so I'm gonna grab this eyeball hold down my shift key and grab the other eyeball and then still holding down my shift key grab the skin and say subtract and look at that that just subtracted that right out let me show you what that did here's his face so it subtracted out this part and this and his nose and I don't have to cut those out of vinyl that's just going to cut out of this face colored or flesh colored vinyl allowing the black beneath to show through so control Z as in zebra again to delete I think his mouth back here is usually black so I'm going to click on that hold down the shift click on the purpley color and say subtract perfect let's see what else do we have I don't know what color to make this so I'll just come up here and I guess I'll just make it a darker maybe I'll make that a dark purple okay not loving that color let's see well let's see how that works if I make his stomach that color and his little thing goes around his hood and his inner ears whoops I messed up let's start again inner ear inner ear I'm holding down my shift key all along okay let's see if I like it if I do all those that color I'm not crazy about it but you know what this is just for practice so you make it any color you like I'm not gonna waste time your time doing that I might just like to make his tail white though so let's grab us grab his tail change that to white there we go and now the only thing left I have to do is to color the um, egg so I guess I'll color this piece and this one and this one I'll 
just color all of those like a, a bright green color. Okay, this is getting uglier by the minute. And this and this may be a pinky color. Yeah, this is getting pretty darn ugly. And that, a yellow. Can't stand it. That, maybe I better make that a prettier color. All right, well, again, I'm wasting your time by doing this. And by the way, look, I've got to hold down my shift key and get the other parts of this stripe right here to make them the color they should be. Make this one the same. Maybe I can make this green some other color because that's really ugly. That's ugly. Okay, maybe I like orange better. Now it's looking like juicy fruit gum if you've ever had that before. And I guess I'll make this one orange as well. And this orange. So, not very creative, but you're getting the idea, right? All right. So, oh, this part right here I believe should be black because that's his uh, arm. So I can just go hold down the shift key and click here and say subtract. And there we go. All right. So like I told you, I was going to teach you something new today. Right now, the way this is, there's this piece here. I can move this piece out and then just the black backing that we're building on will show through. Or leave this piece here. Let me hit Control Z and put it back exactly. I can click on the purpley piece hold down my shift key, click on the black, and then I'm going to open up the modify panel again. Now in the past when we used the modify panel, we said subtract. This time to get rid of this, I'm going to say subtract all. When I say subtract all, watch what happens. Doesn't look like anything happened. But when I click off and then drag this out, everything's gone. So let me group him back together. I see something else I missed though. Let me move him over here and you can see how that part is gone now from him. Just like we would want it to be. Okay. So the other thing that I noticed that I missed is this right here. Scroll in. Look at his hand. Okay, look at his hand. These little pieces right here. I need to ungroup I think. Yeah. These little pieces. Whoops right here should be black. So I'm going to click on that one, hold down my shift key, get this one, still holding my shift key, get the third, and then click on his hand, come over here to the modify panel, and we're going to hit that word that we've used before, and that was subtract. There we go. Not sure what color this should be, but I'm going to make it the color of his outfit. So I'm going to go up here to the color swatch, and it's this. There we go. So let's scroll out and see how it's looking. Okay, I'm really truly not crazy about the colors that I chose. You know, maybe I'd even want to make this white. Let's see what it looks like white. Uh, I don't know. This and this white. So anyway, I'm... You know, this is you can just play around with these colors until you're satisfied with them. I'd certainly do the um, turn his belly white. I'd certainly do the egg different colors, and maybe make this a dark blue that matches the other blue. Kind of thinking maybe I like that better. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, other than the Easter egg, I might change the colors of that, but I really think this is pretty darn cute. Let me check one thing out. What if I make this the bright red that his tongue is? And I can click here, here, and here, and go ahead and make those the same red. There we go. All right, so you get the idea. That's how easy it is to do this. Remember this part right here. What I did was I clicked on it, held down my shift key and clicked on the black because I knew the black was behind it. And then I just came over here to the modify panel and said subtract all and that got rid of it. Okay, let's get rid of him now so he doesn't confuse us. And now the next thing we have to do, like we always do, is come up here to this panel or this tool up here. It says select by color. It always comes in as select by line color, but we want by fill. 
So the yellow is just one piece. Don't really need to do anything with that. The black uh, is more than one piece, I think. Nope, it's just one piece also, so I don't need to do anything with that. The blue is just one piece. This blue is several pieces. So once I click on all those, I'm going to go to Object, Make a Compound Path. The reason being is this. Right now, each of these blue pieces is individual. Hit Control z or Undo to go back. When I click on this and say Object, Make a Compound Path, now it's as if each of this is just one whole piece, one thing, right? So now I could go on and do the white object, make a compound path, and again all the white stays together just like that. And let's see what else do we have? The orange, there are a couple oranges, so I could say object, make a compound path. And the reds, we know there's a couple of reds object, <laughs> make a compound path, and there are the reds. And what else we got? What's this? Oh, that's the reds. Okay, that's his face color, and that was just one thing. The only thing we have in here that I'm not sure what it is is this little tiny piece. Oh, it must be that piece, those two pieces right there that are still purple because I didn't change them to anything, and I don't see that they're going to make or break our image so I'm just going to delete them. We don't need them. Okay, so now let's put him back together if, if, as if he was a vinyl puzzle. I could start with this piece and then add this. Add this. And you know, for your older kids, it might be fun just to cut these pieces out of um, vinyl and let them try to put it together. And there he is. So if we go to make it in silhouette, I'll show you silhouette first and then in Cricut. I just go over here and I'm going to go by fill color. I would uncheck all of these and okay, because I'm only going to cut them one thing at a time. And I see we got that purpley color in here again. I don't know why, but I'm going to start with the yellow, I guess, and it's going to cut just this yellow piece. If I click the yellow off and on, you might be able to see a outline going around it. And of course, I would change its material to whatever I'm using. If I'm using vinyl, come down here. They're in alphabetical order. Vinyl, matte. And then I would change my action to be cut. My tool, right now it says right down here, no tool is detected. That's because my machine is turned off. If my machine was on, it would automatically detect that I had the auto blade in there because that's what I use. Okay, and that would be for the yellow. After I was done with the yellow, I'd simply move it off the mat, uncheck it, and go to the next part. That's going to be the black. Now, wherever I move this black on my mat is where it's going to cut. So I need to make sure I have cardstock there or vinyl there. If I move it down here and I say cut, and it starts cutting over here, and I thought it was going to cut up here, and this is where I have my cardstock or vinyl, it's going to be cutting down here and cutting out nothing but making a cut mark on your mat. So make sure that you place your material where you have this on your mat. So after that was cut, I would remove that one from the mat and uncheck it and go to the next one that I know is here, and that's this one. Okay, I could have that down here. If I want to cut something in this lower corner, I could put my little square of vinyl here, up here, wherever. Cut it, uncheck it, move it. Okay, so that's it for silhouette. That's how you do that. Easy peasy. Now let's go ahead and make this go back. To... Okay, there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to Cricut Design Space. Now, if I had made him an exact size that I wanted him to be, what I would do is click on the outermost edge of him and notice what the width is. 6.285, and you can see it up here too. 6.285. So if I wanted my Mickey that I'm going to do over in Cricut Design Space to be exactly the way I made him here, the way I created him, the way I designed him, I'm going to have to remember that number, and I'm going to put that number in the file name. So watch. 6.285 can only do this if you have the business edition with Cricut 
for Cricut because I'm going to go to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive. No, I'm going to save the selection. I always like to save the selection to Hard Drive. Notice this. I've, I'm given many options of ways that I can save this image. That's because I have the Business Edition. If you're using the free version just to test this out or for your Cameo, you'll only be given the top one, two, three options for saving. That will work for your Cameo. For your Cricut, you need to spend $48 to buy some software just as if you were buying Adobe Photoshop or PaintShop Pro or Illustrator. No, Illustrator you can't buy outright. You have to rent that every month, I think. Uh, but anyway, this is a one-time fee, no rental. You own it. It's on your computer. Anyway, if you have the business edition, you'll be given all these options, and we're going to save it as an SVG. Name it Mickey. And this is for my Cricut or my Cameo, whichever. So let's open Cricut Design Space. Get a new project. Upload. You look at all these that we've already done. Upload an image. Browse. And it's number eight. Oh, let's see. Number eight, Mickey. Open. Oh, oh, let's go back. I must have just had this selected when I saved it. Let's cancel this and go back to silhouette and see what in the world. So let me select everything. I think I did just have that one part selected because I was showing you something. So let's group this all together. Now let's save this whole thing that's selected. File. And actually before I do that, you know what I'm gonna do you guys? There's something purple here. I'm just gonna find out what it is and maybe hit delete on my keyboard. Oh, it's over here. See that, delete. Okay, it's gone now. That was, oh, that was that piece that came out of right here. So I hope I'm not confusing you. Here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to grab all of this. <clears throat> right click and group. And now all of it is selected. So I'm going to go to File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> change it to an SVG. And we had already saved it as uh, Mickey number 8, 8 Mickey. I'm going to just click on that. It says 8 Mickey. It's going to tell me I already have that saved. Is that okay? It says it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Now let's go back to Cricut Design Space and upload. Upload an image. Browse. 8 Mickey. Where are you, buddy? There he is. Open. There we go. Oh! Geez, you guys, I'm losing my mind. I forgot one more thing. Let's go back one more time. Remember I told you, what if we want to save him exactly the same size that he is right here, and we want that information over there in Cricut Design Space so we can make it just as we designed him. Okay, so now the width of him is 6.924. So now this is what I'm going to do. He is selected. File. Save as, save selection, save to hard drive. And what was it? 6.924. <clears throat> so I'm going to name it 6.924 <clears throat> Mickey. Okay. And I'm going to save it as an SVG. Save. Now we're going to go to Cricut Design Space again. All right, so we're going to cancel this one because this one doesn't have the information on what size. So I'm going to upload, upload an image, browse. This time I'm going to look for that one with the numbers. Let's see, 6.924 Mickey. Open. Save it. Now I'm going to insert it. And now this is what I want you to see. Here he comes in, and if you look up here at his size, his width right now is 
2.443. Well, we know that's not the size we wanted him to be. We designed him a certain way in silhouette, and that's the way we want him to cut. So look over here in the layers panel. Since I named him 6.924 Mickey, I now know what width to make him. And as long as the lock is locked, it will change proportionately. So I'm going to make his width 6 point, make sure the point gets in there because sometimes it doesn't, 9, 2, 4, and hit enter. And then that makes him exactly the size I want him to be. Perfect, just like that. So I'm going to make it. If we're doing this out of vinyl, it's perfect because look, this is all going to stay right where we want it. So when we put down our transfer tape, it's ready to go. If you're using HTV, after you weed it, it's ready to go. The black, orange, face or flesh colored, yellow, blue, and the other light blue. So that's it. That's how easy it is to use this program, this software, for any kind of cutting machine that you have. It's named Silhouette Software. It's named Silhouette Business Edition. Not sure why, but because you don't have to have a business to use it. But I'll tell you what, it's very robust easy to use. You'll love using it. I've just shown you how to do um, tracing, uh, making SVGs. There's so much you can do with this software. So again, the free link is down below. After you install the free link and decide whether you like it or not, and you really like it, then you can use the same link that I have down below for the business edition. And it's only $48. I'm not sure how long it will be on sale for. When I purchased mine, it was $99. But right now it's on sale for 48 so grab it if you think you might like it. Thanks again for joining me. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe, hit the bell, and leave comments. I love it when you guys chat. I answer as many of those, almost all of them, that I can. So see you guys tomorrow, 1 o'clock Eastern Time.